kind of define us as what we do here as a show. We have the conversations that people are afraid to have in mixed company. We have to put ourselves out there as as honestly as possible. And, yeah, someone and full say we're not allowed to talk about it. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have this talk right now because of how uncomfortable I knew this would make me and and everybody. So I'm very much gonna have my eyes on the chat. What's what's more interesting, I think, is the person who is disputing it and their reasoning behind it and how no one no one sees it like that. So you want to go ahead and intro it? I'll intro it because you read the entire article. I I watched some of the video and I read bits of the bits and pieces. So from my understanding, all right, Evanston, Illinois becomes the first U.S. city to pay reparations to black residents. From my understanding, they have garnished four hundred thousand dollars for black households, black households only. I mean reparations, and an additional, I think, twenty five thousand dollars for home repair and all that now bear in mind uh I, look i i can't say like reparations is a bad thing right but no. right now with covid in the backdrop this is being funded by our tax dollars and it's specifically i think it's coming from a good place i think right now the money could go to health care or something um but this is being funneled by um marijuana shops that sell I was gonna that say, are getting yeah. taxed and the money is getting utilized for reparations right now. Let's let's uh, read a little bit. Uh, Evanston, uh, Illinois, on Monday became the first U.S. city to make reparations available to its black residents for past discrimination and the lingering effects of slavery. Uh, the Chicago Suburb City Council voted 8 to 1 to distribute $400,000 to eligible black households. Each qualifying household would, would receive $25,000 for home repairs or down payments on property. The program is being funded through donations and revenue from a 3% tax on the sale of recreational marijuana. Donations would be... Oh, wait. Do the people know where their donations are going? Because that, that would make that totally cool. Well, what, to each one they're getting? Like, if the people like donating... Like, about the residents or the people who donate the money? Yeah, whoever's well, the, donating the money, they know that this is where it intends to go. Most of them are donating. You're just buying Bud in yeah. Chicago, oh. and that 3% tax goes there. And they've pledged in 10 years to do $10 million. Couldn't this be, like, just uh, driven more to, like, all the poverty-stricken right now? Like... Well, I mean, I so this is what I think is the weird, like the weird area here, because what you're saying is true, is it it's beneficial, and I'm agreeing with it, and I don't want it any other way. But what the bill is saying is like this false word. I see you're making. Uh, I, I want to. I want to make it very clear to to Benson, who's here on behalf of Q or from Q. I don't know if it is. Uh, out of the darkness this is not worth this is not a place you're going to hear the n-word slip up okay he he said hitting record now i don't know if he's being like facetious or with levity and i want to share bert's uh comment i'm never mad about people getting government money uh but this is the taxpayer money right this is well it's not again it's not taxpayer money it's through I guess you could say only if you buy All right, he's marijuana. laugh reacting. At least you understand where my spirit's at in my heart. Only if you buy uh, marijuana do you get the, to uh, put towards what this is going to. Like, they're calling reparations. So qualifying residents must have either lived in or been a direct descendant of a black person who's lived in Evanston between 1919 and 1969 and who suffered discrimination in housing because of city ordinances, policies, or practices. So, um, Alderman Rue Simmons, who proposed the program that was adopted in 2019, said Pro Reparations Group had offered pro bono legal assistance if the program is challenged in court. This is set aside for an injured community that happens to be black, that was injured by the city of Evanston for anti-black housing policies. So I'm not, this is the person who made the bill and what, what the article is saying seems to be different than what the person who made the bill is saying. No, that's... And this is not to call out. It, it's just more so like, look at the meat, like they're like, here you go trying to make something more. So wait, wait, what, what did the bill? I, I'm sorry. You just read it out loud. 
the the bill clarifies that the media is once again being disingenuous did i get got again by the media no no the bill's not saying it's disingenuous uh let me go a little bit further it says the city council acted after dozens of citizens addressed the body and the plan received uh some pushback alderman cecily fleming the lone vote against the plan said she supports reparations but what the city council was debating is a housing plan that is being called reparations she said the people should dictate the terms of how their grievances are repaired fleming described the program as paternalistic and it assumes black people can't manage their own money so it's like if you're going to call this reparations give me twenty five thousand dollars don't tell me that off the bat, this is where it has to go. If that's where it goes, you call it a housing plan. You're calling it reparations. That almost implies the, here. It does imply. It's, it's you do what you want. This is what you're owed. Oh. And, like, that's what I'm saying. The left loves to pull this shit. Look, we're virtue signaling. We're doing good. And when you read it and only one person opposed it, and I feel like, why yeah, she's opposing it, it makes the one. most sense. It was an eight to one vote. Yeah. And it makes the most sense. She's like, you're calling her reparations, yet you're telling them how they can use it because maybe you don't trust them how yeah, to use what's it. Up? Okay. I think that's just a, a, a much that's what broader me off question about it. that you, you've actually opened my eyes on it a little bit more. And look, I, I just knew the optic. It took a long setup to get there, but you yeah, know. no, no, perfect, man. Look, and I, I knew the optic too, white guys talking about reparations. Uh, dude, was, I was gonna tell you, this what, is not. What did I say the before? The first thing Josh said was like, "Bro, like, I mean, I don't remember, but I was like, I can't wait to talk about this shit." I uh, said, and, oh, and I said oh, the that, word, the word yeah. that, yeah, that we say every day, yeah, uh, every hour of the I show. I wake up to it. Yeah, it's it's on my alarm clock. The first part of waking up is, is saying that word that we will always not say but he does secretly i don't know he has a strong way of making me uncomfortable on, on live air but anyway let's see oh that's ben, all being benson together. benson who is representation we need he says so it's not going directly to the individuals it's going directly to the individuals but what we're saying is the bill is phrasing it as reparations. And maybe I'm misunderstanding what reparations should be, but it's going directly to the individuals, but in a way where they can only spend it on a down payment or yes, housing. Correct. It, they have, they're literally telling you this money is reparations, but you can only use it in the way for, it, written in the bill. $25,000 for home repairs or down payments on property. Yes. That's it. Right. That's and if that, you I have debt reading. somewhere else that you want to get rid of on credit cards or like, nope. This is home repairs. They're essentially telling you you can't take your you can't take care of your house. It's almost like it looks like shit. Here's some money. Make it look better. It's, it's almost like, like a virtue signal to get you to buy into it, it to, to give you an extension to the landlord. You know what I mean? Like and the the left, as I am a part of, has a big issue with like landlords and it all almost that. goes right to the landlord, right? Literally. Especially it, so it's really serving to undercut the true intention of the media saying reparations are being paid when in real like the real world it's going to the landlord who might be just the white guy. Yeah, like, maybe I they're mean, renting the property and that home repair because they can't spend it on anything else. It's I mean, going to go it, to a home this, that they're renting that they'll one day leave that it only benefits the landlord. Yeah, I man. mean, the, because because conversations like these are so, uh, I don't know if I can, the, we can never talk about stuff Vince, like this. Benson really understands it now. And I'm, dude, thank you for doing your part here. Like, <laughs> I just, I, I understand it way better now. I saw it, I, when you first posted it in the chat, and I knew something was fishy. When someone says, we're giving people reparations, you post it, I'm you like, you want to read I the fine print read this. on that. I have to read this. So, you know, like, I don't know why I Insane. feel like yeah. this is such a, a, a leftist thing, but it is. Like, that whole virtue signaling, because, like, I don't see anybody like I don't see anybody on the right at the very least holding uh people of color's hand and telling them you should be outraged and how to act and how to spend your money wisely. I mean, maybe there's some people out I mean, there, but I, I'm talking about more of a there's like definitely a government. Like, there's vibe. definitely photo ops like on both sides of the pandering and look at me with this, you know, uh any insert any person of any ethnicity you know, in a photo op or something like look at the it's idea, done everywhere. Look at the idea of when, of when, okay, I'm going to be very careful. How I say this, but when 
uh, I guess we got out of Jim Crow and white people gave black people areas, but essentially still made them ghettos. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it, it, like well, they still made it bad. So like now here you can have that area, but it's going to be shitty here. You could be shitty, but here's uh, here's some money for it. But the only way you get all this is if you keep voting for me. I feel like on the right you're promised it sounds like a strategic move for more on votes. the right you're promised a, a a more even beginning point you know like one of the best things i've learned uh uh in the past like few years is the idea that let's say we're all starting a race right some people start the race at the start line other people start the race way back there and are still told to get there in the same time i am yes correct. that i understand with this I don't like when the government says everybody gets the same end. That means if I do better or, or the guy, imagine if the guy, um, like this is what has to piss people, people of color off. Imagine if the guy that you busted ass to get past got what you got. Yeah. I, I could you worked a lot harder, but he gets the same thing. Like they're, 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 I like, some conservative and right i like a lot of them because the idea that you work with what you get for like the more you work supposedly the more you're gonna get you know like the more you bust your ass the more it should pay off in the long run i don't like the idea that you put in a little work but we all get the same i feel like you're making complacent people we're gonna make a, a very very pushover society you know it's it's not it's a very production society at that point we're going the the way of china at that point i have to i mean it popped up in my head so i have to ask it Are, were, were you phrasing a case that was uh throwing a little shade towards like affirmative action or anything like that like because you said um i mean i've seen some good points uh like as to why you know why it was implemented as to no i see why it was implemented but i see why it could go wrong where you're not hiring somebody we, on the skill of we, the yeah, job we, we've but you're seen hiring examples. somebody on the on what they look like and then like like just like what's going on like with women in the military like when now they are now lowering before the standards uh, women were fighting for equality and they got as far as making the same test for women and men but women were failing 50 to 60 percent more yeah 54 percent more than men were they're deciding to go back to an all women's and an all men's test separately and lower Lowering the standards the on standards them. which it has a grand effect on our military which not just that but it reinforces the idea that women aren't as good as men because now you're lowering the standards and now you have you know what i mean like you're putting women in, in more of an awkward situation than you need to be you, like you just brought them back yeah, no, I'm sorry. A, a comment totally. It, 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 are you ready for this one? Because I'm ready. We it, it's a callback to the first movie we did stuck in the movies about, which is a show we do uh, that you could find it. It's non-political. We try to make it non-political, but it's funny that this comment went the way it did. Oh, really? Don't. Okay. What? I can't. I no, already said it out stop? loud. It's in the chat. Did it's not public. Did, oh no. <laughs> All right. Josh sounds like the dad on American History X. LOL. Don't. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. What's up? That's like that's that's my favorite character in the movie. <laughs> and then she goes, "Did Josh's dad get shot while he was putting out a fire in the hood?" She is kidding. Okay. She's no, totally kidding. Like that's great jokes, but the problem is, is like she thinks her jokes are. She doesn't understand anything I'm talking about. No, so no, she's stop. no, no, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. This is where the two of you get. She's so making a fantastic joke, but she thinks we're wrong. No, she doesn't understand what we're saying. I don't think so. And she thinks I, I promise you, oh, I promise man, you, I, I promise I, you. You were right, Lindsay. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. Every joke becomes in jest. Jesus. Like I mean, every joke is said with a little bit of truth, but it's one thousand percent joke, man. The one thousand. Right, sure okay. it is, Lindsay. Oh my God, All right. I get you. All right. I get we you. We love every one of our. Uh, I get your vibe. Audience members, and uh, and I know you're just gonna like after we cut the mics off, you're gonna be like, yeah, what a you no, know, what a crazy person. But right now in front of her, you're gonna be no, all all up on her. That's because no, what you do though, bro. Like you pander. Stop it. Uh, you stop it. I think she she is literally one hundred thousand percent joking. So where That's does the joke all. stem from though? Uh, because I mean, I, th I mean, think of the moment where I said, Josh, so, do, are you making a, a case about affirmative action? So you think I'm wrong then when I say she disagrees with a lot of what we're saying? No, whoa. You just rephrased I everything. I said the same thing. I said, do you think 
I, I, said I don't the think same she disagrees thing. with anything we said right now. I didn't I'm say even... you did. I'm asking you if you I... did. Do you think that what we're talking about as far as us thinking some of the affirmative, uh, affirmative action is bad, us, our take on why this reparations bill is bad, do you think that she disagrees is what I'm saying? She hasn't given me any evidence I'm to asking disagree. You, if yeah. I would just off of her, uh, n- no. No, no, I, no! I can't. I can't. You're assume. such a cuck, dude. I can't assume to know what she's thinking about this okay, shit okay, right no, now. You're right. No problem. No problem. Oh, no you, problem. This is infuriating. Yeah, you, it it should be. It should be because you know damn well uh, what I'm talking about, and you're kind of playing a little more coy than you're letting on, which is fine. I'm not trying to get you in the doghouse or anything, but you know damn well what I'm saying, and you could answer it a little uh, more. You you could answer it a little more appropriately without coming off like a complete dick, which is what you're trying to avoid. You're trying to avoid hurting someone's feelings, but that's fine. All right, this is cool. That's fine. Cool. I know. Yeah. See, you know, sometimes when the truth hits, I don't. It yeah. hurts. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. This <laughs> this got flipped is right, Bert. And I'm glad oh, everybody's oh, laughing oh, with oh. us. Hell yes. Holy cats. L O L O L. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uncomfortability. Yeah. Uh, so what? What's the? <laughs> Why'd you read it, man? Why'd you do it? Why'd I mean, you go there? I once I start. Uh, I'm just a victim. I didn't. I didn't do it, dude. I'm just reading things. I didn't do it. She's right, dude. I read the fucking comment, bro. And then when I was about to, she's like, no, 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 no don't. And I should have listened to her. But you're like, no, go ahead. Why we're gonna it's see on the it? Chat. Yeah. So. Damn, bro. Let's uh, get back on track. Oh, we'll get back on track. We'll get back on fucking track. <laughs> I tune in every Monday and Wednesday, even though it's a Tuesday. We'll get back on Nothing track. Nothing confusing right. about that. Yeah. All right. So This is why I really wanted to get here today. I want to talk about some bullshit in the news. No, we can't open the phones. I'm sorry. Yes, we can. Oh, we can. Yeah. Okay. Who wants the phones open? Lindsay definitely wants to clarify because she deserves it, man. You literally put me in a position to try me. to think for her. Which is like, like you want me to generate an opinion, like yeah, maybe I, on other things. I know you don't like thinking. What the fuck? Like on other <laughs> things, I'm sure I could have offered some better insight, but I literally have no idea about her stance on what we're covering right now. We've talked about this, we, these sensitive topics in Voice of the People many a time, and you're playing coy. Like I get it, I get it. You're trying to be safe about it, and that's fine, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it anymore. Okay. Damn, Promise. Kenneth, real. All right. Uh, yes, the phone line. Benson, we got those Hang on, almost there, almost up. there. Let's see here. Oh, and by the way, guys, you know what goes a long way is just a copy and paste of this very link. Any social media platforms that you happen to use, it means the world. If you'd share it and just say, hey, this show is worth the something, give it a listen, or subscribe if you haven't, hit the Taco Bell button. We, uh, we love the traction. Or share it and be like, man, this show sucks. sucks. Yeah, say, yeah, like tell us how look much. Look at you these hate white it. supremacist yeah. Nazis. Yeah, look at these uh, chauvinistic. Yeah, these these white privilege having. Yeah, all, all the things applicable. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I think it should work. Bear with us. But uh, if you feel like calling uh, for what we're talking about thus far, call the show 954-399-3631. That's 954-399-3631. Give Stuck in the Middle a call. Tell us what you think, how you're feeling. Tell Eli you love him and how much uh, I sound like a racist. Kenneth, I, I am going to reach out to you in private to have a conversation about, like, and he's, he's like, Eli, like, I love you, bro, but I'm, I'm with Josh on this. I mean, it's very divided right now. Why can't you tell him right now? What, like, why, like, why do you do these, like, little personal reach-out things? Why can't you explain? Oh, he's, he's one of my homies, man. I'm yeah, going to talk to him in private. I, but I, I think I wanna, what I'm saying is other people may feel that way, and it sounds like you haven't I wanna, fully voiced your thoughts on it. So instead of saying it in no, private... No, no, I just, one... just want to have a conversation. I want to understand... That's what we're but... doing right now. Yeah, yeah. He, he can... I need to hear his side, though. He can call but in, too. He just said, you don't know... Do you remember what you said? What? 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 Do you remember what you said about your opinions on what we're talking about, about the reparations? Yes, yes. So he said he doesn't agree with yeah, you. Yeah, love you, Eli, but I feel Josh. Retort. Uh, <laughs> well... Uh, uh, so I, you want I need a more, him to speak. You want a more direct. I, I need. What I need about? to speak. To, uh, yeah, I want to be like. I mean, just how do you mean? Why? Why do you? Th- why do you think that I would be able to think for her 
you know, regardless of the topics we've had in the past, we've never had this conversation. I don't think you could think for her, but we've had, yes, we've had, we, we've had these the, the, conversations, especially with affirmative action and stuff like that. and all this, all right. Well, one, maybe, like, maybe, okay, I'll go as far and say one third of this conversation we've had before. Okay. Uh, yes, nobody call, and I'm about to call. Need to plug in my phone. Get on your A game! No, no, uh, and Hurry Vince, don't, don't get it wrong. Nobody cannot be on anybody's head. This is a free form. Any, we, it's important. Have your voice, regardless of who likes it or how it's taken. Please champion the side that you believe in, that you're on. Benson, I don't, Benson Brody says it's okay to be wrong, Eli. Uh, that's not, well, oh, that's, that's the thing you used to say. Uh, well, Benson, I mean, that's, it's okay. I, I will own up to that. It is but okay I'm just saying, wrong. like, Lindsay was joking, and now it's being phrased like I was supposed to have the answers for her. She could speak for herself, and hence a phone call. Hang on. God damn it. Click a lot. Hang on, Lindsay. Hold on. We're we're getting there. It's almost as complicated as delivering there a child. From. Lindsay. Ah, oh, I love it. Lindsay. What up? Ah, she can hear us. Okay, so go ahead and tell me how we sound like the, the okay, dad from American Strips. <laughs> First of all, I blame myself because I do dig in on Josh so fucking hard. Yes, yes. But I promise you. Now it's admitted. That was 100 billion percent just a joke. I thought it was so good. So did I. I was going to be like, no, I think it's Josh's fine. dad. The joke <laughs> is great. The joke is great. All Listen, I was I arguing know, is that I, I think you have I some have truth undertones. to it. I know it. I know it. I'm the first to admit that I'm a cunt. But I swear to you, in this case alone... It was a hundred thousand percent a joke. You are completely giving Eli shit that he does not deserve because he gets it. Like he uh, he was right. Like that's exactly how I meant it. I meant it but as you, a funny joke. You do if understand. If I thought you, if I thought you thought anything bad about black people, you, I would not be tuning into your show or you, reparations or any of that shit. You do <laughs> understand <laughs> why I would think the way I've done because you literally just called it and said, of, course. of all the other times you were, you'd be right, but this time <laughs> you're wrong. So you've, that's why I'm calling it in well, a way. No, you're think, like, I you're right. Just not this time. You would be right of all the other times, but I did say I did. Got, <laughs> got you. Okay. That's, that's fair. Fit. That's fair. We're in agreement. This time I'm wrong. I kind I'll of take love it. that I torture you in a way, but um, you know. it's goddamn an, I'm like, what? Why does she think this stuff all the time? <laughs> Look, I'm just feel for anybody that seems to be questioning. Like, I don't have a problem if anybody's on Josh's side. Number one, number two. I knew Lindsay was joking. One thousand percent. Period. Totally. So if anybody's like wondering, sure, like, you Eli, are you are you I mad got, that people are on Josh's side? Like, get out of here. It sounds like he is, Listen, doesn't it? Oh my god, Eli, Eli's right on this one. Listen, Josh was my homeboy from the beginning. Like, was? I know Josh before yeah, everybody else. And like Josh is who got me to the show. Yeah, I knew Josh before I knew Eli. So, because I think Josh and I connected from like Rochester, but I don't know how. I honestly anyway. think we connected over like a weird uh, Chip Chipperson like thing <laughs> on Facebook, and like somehow we had mutual friends or something weird, and we just kept going fuck I yeah, yeah, just random Chip Chipperson and, jokes. And then I came in yeah. and ruined your chemistry. No, yep. no, you didn't ruin it. You just, you just shit all over it. No, no. Yeah, yeah. It says about right. That's what I do. It's just uh, funny that every time Josh like does a throwback to Chip Chipperson, Eli has no fucking idea. But I think <laughs> Eli knows to a certain extent that oh shit, if uh, if you get a good comment in there, Eli yeah. knows that if I tell Josh's comment, we're, <laughs> this is the way we're gonna go now. I, it never yeah. fails, Lindsay. You you do provide uh, many times what I just consider gold, and I if I read it out loud, it, it totally derails. <laughs> the show and its structure <laughs> and I, I guess josh very uh ingrained in the moment so fa fantastic <laughs> for you so i do blame myself because i do say some really i i know i say shit that's like so fucking annoying sometimes wow. but in this instance eli was right and okay. fucking kenneth like by the way you're wrong too <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. i don't know why you're going in saying eli's wrong on this i don't even talk to kenneth that much on the on page but He's a good man. I, he probably sees my cunty posts, so he has an well, opinion about well, me, Well, your, your cunty posts are very appreciated. Yes. You know, it keeps a very certain it, view is to Is this the whole safe thing. to say here, I love your cunt? 
t posts. Ugh. <laughs> 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 that was bad. I'm so glad. <laughs> you made us all cringe together. Yeah. Wait, what did you say? It was all kinds of. We bonded over the cringe just now. <laughs> okay. I think a lot of us did. It was like I, I a was synchronization. In on it, right? Like. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Yeah, you were there. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. All well, right, so it's well, fine. It's settled. It was totally a joke. Love the show. I love your voice. Stop being an ass. Okay. Well, thank you, Lindsay. Thank you so much for clarifying. Never stop being a cunt. Never stop. It would have ate us alive. Me alive. Yeah, right. Josh would have committed suicide. Yes, right I would have. Or live. Okay, Lindsay. Seriously. We'll talk right, to you. Bye. Love bye. you. We, we, we love you. All right. No, you love I'm, I'm glad. I, I, know, do. I, I do. I know how it goes. You're a panderer. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here for the cringe, baby. 100%. I love you. I love you so much. So, um, what's next on the list? The hit list, if I shall get well. Sorry.